it is Saturday morning and I just changed and got ready to meet Taylor and Maya to get coffee and lunch. Okay, so let me keep it like this so that way you can like see the top too. This top, it's talentless. I think the talentless top comes like down to here or something. I cropped it as short as I wanted it. So it's just like the talentless basic tee and like an off-white. Then this bra, it's like a bra top. I wear it as a top, I wear it as a bra. Just under stuff that's kind of like see-through. It is from Airy. <laughs> and then this suede jacket is from Blank NYC. I don't think they make it anymore. They might make like a jacket like this, but I don't know if they make it in this color. I've had it for years, so I definitely recommend investing in their pieces because they last so long and they're so good. And I feel like these types of things never really go out of style. And then I'm wearing my Amazon joggers. Love these joggers. They're actually like men's sweatpants. So they are a little bit cropped because I wear them high waisted. Like my belly button's right here. So like this is my hip. I just have a really long torso. So that's why they hit me like this. And then Nike Court Vision sneakers. But and then this is a uh, lily clasp necklace and lily clasp earrings and amazon huggies that i always wear so here is the outfit i'm here with maya we're waiting on taylor i think it's over there um we just got into this parking lot in downtown i had to take a huge detour because there's like a farmer's market going on so we're going to craft in common which is like a coffee spot that i've never been to it's super cute trendy you know i love that downtown orlando has like a few of these like trendy places to get coffee that's different than starbucks i love going to get coffee so meeting taylor and maya to get coffee here and then we're gonna go somewhere for lunch i don't know where we're going and yeah that's what's going on we're waiting on taylor hopefully she'll be here soon later in the day got home probably like two hours ago or like three because honestly the last hour christian and i have been trying to decide what to do for dinner tomorrow's easter and i realized that Publix isn't open on easter which is honestly it's a good thing i mean people deserve to have days off and places deserve to be closed for sure i'm not opposed to that but I have to go to the grocery store to get my lunch stuff for the week. I have a full list of groceries on my Merry Christmas notepad. Tomorrow, Christian and I are going to my dad's house to like celebrate Easter and spend time with my family because his family is obviously a few hours away. So that's what's going on. Um, I posted an Instagram photo, by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, you totally should. This is my name. I am trying to post more stuff on there, grow on there, because I am trying to get to more than 10,000 followers on there because I want the swipe up feature for easy linking for my YouTube. That is mainly it. And plus, I would just love another way for you to interact with you guys. That's more like quick. I post on stories over there what i'm doing that day and stuff like that so you kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of my life day to day uh, as opposed to like whenever i upload a video so yeah so that's what's going on so you definitely should follow me over there i would love to have you and yeah so i'm gonna go to the grocery store i changed into a comfy flannel and then i'm picking up mexican food 
we were gonna go to dinner but places book up so quickly and it was too late to get a reservation anywhere everything had the earliest reservation of nine o'clock and that's just not happening so we can always go to dinner sometime next weekend and do something like that i don't know what time public closes but it's already like 7 48 so i need to get a move on <laughs> Mom used to bowl watermelon like this when I was younger, so I continue to do it whenever I buy watermelon as well. That's not pre-cut. Plus, this is $4, and the pre-cut small package of watermelon is like $8. So it just makes more sense, and then you just use this little melon ball thing. You can get it from Publix, and you can ball them up. So and I just think it's funny how the way your parents do something, you do it as an adult too. Okay, I wanted to give an update on these pods that I got because this is one of the new pods that I got when I did my Nespresso haul video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. But I got this flavor of double espresso. I usually drink this one, the Chiro. And I love that one. So this one has a higher intensity level than the other one. And I don't know what it is about this, but it did not make me feel good. The first day that I drank it, it kind of triggered ocular migraine. And then today I couldn't even finish the whole cup of coffee because it started to make me feel so sick. And I always drink water before I drink my coffee. Coffee never has that effect on me. I could have like multiple shots of espresso and be fine. So I don't think that this one works for me. I like the flavor of it, but not at the cost of me not feeling good. So I posted on my Instagram story for literally like 10 seconds. It was up asking if anyone in the Orlando area wanted these for free because I don't want to just throw them away. I have eight pods left out of 10. So they can go to someone that enjoys them. And actually, this girl that used to work at my office, whose sister now works at my office, commented on my story and wanted them. So I'll just give it to her sister when I see her on Monday. And yeah, she can have these. So yeah, just an update. I've heard that before, though, that these like are kind of too intense for some people. So kind of had that effect on me, too, which I'm surprised. But wanted to update you because these will not be repurchased again from me, so. I'm debating on going on a walk, but I want to take a bath after, but I also want to wash my hair. So uh, this is like the question of the day. If you work out, then want to take a bath, then wash your hair in the shower, do you take a bath after your workout or shower first? before you take a bath. I don't know, like what would you guys do? Maya's saying shower first and Taylor's saying bathe first because then you shower after, which like makes sense in my head and I get it, it's gross, you like bathe in your own filth either way and like I always shower after a bath, but 
Anyways, so I'm thinking about going on a walk because it's really nice outside and I just like want to get outside, listen to a podcast. The Skinny Confidential just posted their podcast on Thursday. It's how to rid yourself of things that are holding you back so you can move forward, succeed, and find happiness. And it's not like I have anything like that weighing on me, but I figured it'd be nice to listen to it. So kind of want to walk and listen to it. It's like an hour long. I don't think I'm going to walk for an hour, but we'll see because it's four o'clock. So then I want to take a bath and then I need to wash my makeup brushes, wash my hair. I need to make my lunches for the week. I want to make a smoothie. So maybe I'll go on a walk, make a smoothie, take a bath, wash my hair, do my makeup brushes, make my lunches. And yeah. But do you guys find that gross? Like, how would you do it? How, if you were to go on a walk, I'm not doing like an intense, sweaty workout, but how would you do this? Would you work out, shower, like wash your hair, then sit in the bath? Or would you work out, bathe, then take a shower? Please answer that in the comments down below. Because I'm about to work out, sit in a bath, then shower after because I feel like I sweat in the bath right? I don't know. <laughs> Please no judgment here, but let me know what you would do in the comments down below and leave your judgment out of the comments, please, regardless of what you do. So I think I'm going to go on a walk. <laughs> I just changed my pillowcase. I have clean hair. I never wash my hair on Sundays, like never. I'm really bad about like ending off the vlogs because I'm usually just like so exhausted um, from the day or from the weekend. So I definitely want to get better about ending off my videos. So yeah, I'm gonna put my retainer in, put on a YouTube video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're having a great day or night depending on when you're watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!